Okay, let's go back to the 1940s. So, what is on a budget? And this is a great example if you re if you want to go really vintage, just after the Second World War. This is a Tudor oyster with the Rolex oyster case. Don't get mistaken; these watches aren't Rolex. The cases were licensed by Rolex. You can see it's got an oyster patent crown, the original oyster patent crown. So they definitely had a connection. And this has got a particular FHF caliber that Rolex did use. Some age on the dial, but to be honest, basically that, that saying original, we know it's original. There is some patina to the dial, but you can't really deny the originality when you see dials with age. All stainless steel case. Quite a compact watch. This is 31 millimeter, although I'd still wear it. I think it looks great on the brown lizard grain. So it's a two-piece oyster, oyster case, mechanical manual wind. That's the model 4453 from the 1940s with a great vintage luminous style with the luminous arrow markers and mixed Arabic figures. Nice entry-level vintage Tudor wristwatch with a, an association to Rolex. And it is an association, that, but they aren't Rolexes, obviously reflecting in the price so 31 millimeter that's 17 millimeter between the lugs with the original oyster patent crown and that's on the website now at 795 again fully serviced with our 12 months non-waterproof of course service cover another reason reasonably priced watch on a budget <laughs>